The Toronto Maple Leafs have signed a defenseman who they already had, Jake Muzzin. They re-signed Jake Muzzin. They extended him four years, $5.625 million per, which I'm going to call a good signing and good number on account of it's about half the money per year that we usually expect. Sorry, I am mad. I'm mad. Not about this signing. This signing is actually good. Muzzin, he's about to be on the wrong side of 30. He is signed to only four years. It's not a terribly long contract. 5.625, that's not a terribly expensive contract. He's got a bomb. He's a leader. He can hit. He's responsible. He's everything you want. It's a good signing for the Leafs. I think if you talk to most Leaf fans, they would say, uh, yeah, I want to keep Jake Muzzin. But here's the thing that probably means the Leafs can't re-sign Tyson Berry, which is okay because they traded him. What? They kept him. They're going for it. You sh yeah? You saw the Zamb... You did? Or it was a little viral. Anyway, all of that's besides the point, and I'm sure I'll get into it in a video later on with the winners and losers. wonder what I'm going to say. But in the meantime, this signing, this four-year uh, deal with Jake Muzzin for the Leafs, I like it. I want to know what you think in the comment box down below. Recently, the Leafs had a terrible performance against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Jake Muzzin called the team out, and then he was arguably their best player in a 4-0 shutout against the Penguins in their very next game. That's probably the sort of thing the Leafs want, A, on defense, and B, hanging around their young core. As long as we ignore what happened the very next game. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you liked this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell your friends that this gets to be a goal celebration for the next four years. I still like it.